Hello, dear brothers and sisters. This is Reverend Melissa. I wanted to share with you this morning part two of my testimony. The Ancient Word series is all for you, for your instruction to teach you the ways of our Creator. For many of you will discover that it is much different than that which you were taught by the false teachings given to humanity by Rome. And I know everyone says, oh, Rome didn't give us the Bible. The Bible was given to us by God. That's not true. If any of you actually sat down and read your Bibles, you would see that there is nothing in the Bible. Nothing. There is no, there are no, no complete chapters in the Bibles known to men that we have today given to humanity by Rome that are written in the first person um, as the books of Enoch okay or as the gospel of peace with Christ Jesus okay speaking directly to us giving us instruction teaching us the ways of the kingdom as did our creator Abba Amma Arawat who gave Enoch direct instructions for humankind showed him everything now now for all of you who have not read the books of Enoch I recommend that you go and do that because upon doing so you will learn and discover that many of the false truths that we were told about all of those great Italian uh, scientists, Galileo, okay, all of the ones that that discovered the constellations that 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 were always esteemed, and we were taught those lies in school, were lies given to us by Rome. You ever wondered how how history just seems to stress the the significance of Rome, of the Italians, the, no pun intended, my dear brother, my dear Italian brothers and sisters, okay? Um, do not take offense, okay? This is not personal against you, but your leaders ravaged the earth. Your leaders corrupted mankind. For all who have not read the gospel of peace the gospel of the holy 12 the books of enoch you have no reason not to there you can read all of those texts online at google books at google book search okay in the gospel of the holy 12 christ Jesus gave direct instructions he said that humankind that man was not to enslave another man that humankind is not to let nothing that death has touched touch their flesh they're not to eat nothing that death has touched you're not to you you're not to use nothing that death has touched and yet if you look at the structure of the business world of of our society every aspect of it the death of animals the death of creatures that's what the whole economic system is based on animals the death of animals they need the death they have created global markets off of the the flesh and blood and internal organs of animals putting it feeding you their diseased meat giving you their disease creams that have animal byproducts in it, giving you those disease medicines um, created by their quacks that contain uh, um, animal um, dis different elements of deceased animals. If you don't, if you don't put that junk on you, um, from roadkill on the side of the street. Why the hell are you going to go to the market and to the store to buy some in, in a nicely dressed tube? 
not realizing that all of that junk is detrimental to your body. And come on, what the hell? They even got bone meal, dead, just dead animals, placenta in your toothpaste, in your, in your hair conditioners, in your creams. Come on. That right there lets you know this is a diabolical scheme to filthy you up, to dirty you up. It's, it, it's all, it is all relative. The idea, the main point is to dirty you up, to filthy you up, because Christ Jesus said in the Gospel of, of the Holy Twelve that Sataniel is the Lord of the dead, and our God, Abba Amma Arawat, Yahweh is the God of the living. Only that which is living, He is all around because He is life, He is air, He is the God of the living. And if you attend any church, if you attend any so-called worship house, and if in that worship house there are dead figures, there are dead bodies, and I've traveled throughout this planet, and I'm telling you right here and now, in Roman Catholicism, throughout the whole, throughout the whole damn structure of that religion, you go into their churches, it doesn't matter where you are, the U.S., France, Germany, Italy, Switzerland, they got damn dead bodies all over the place. Dead bodies encased in glass on display. Dead bodies buried in the damn floor. Dead bodies all around. When I walked into those damn places, I was like, what the hell? I felt like I was in a graveyard. My spirit was totally troubled. I had to get out of there. That was my sign that that was not where I was supposed to be. And I've never looked back, never gone back. I want no, nothing to do with that organization because it's unclean. Now, how are you going to try to take books given to you by that unclean organization? They are not prophets, seers of our creator. They worship man. They've given you the doctrines and teachings of man. And presented them as the words of our dear Christ. Now I'm sorry because I went on a tangent. I was going to give you. Uh, I was going to tell you. The, the story behind the two recurring images. In my videos. I want you dear brothers and sisters to. Fast and pray. Take the meat out of your mouths. Okay cleanse yourselves that you'll be able to see that those two images are more than just pictures of the clouds and of the universe, okay? Uh, the one, one was taken in 1979. The other, I'm not sure of the date, but in the one, the, the one that is more colorful, colorful than the other, I want you to find the ball of light in the palm of the hand. There's only one who holds the world in his hand. All of you, you know the shape of a heart. You know what, your, what the shape of a heart is. In that image, you find in the center of the page the heart, the huge shaped heart of light. And then you find a ball of light, and beneath the ball of light, you see the hand. There's only one, for he holds, he's got the whole world in his hands. Christ Jesus Maria said that our God, in the gospel of peace, he said that he is not hidden. He is not revealed. He is, he is the holy law. Now I'm telling you, you can pretend that you don't see him or not. It doesn't matter to me because I know that they are. I've seen them. I There's no going back for me. But for you and for your reproof, for your salvation, for just so that you can discover the wonderful, wonderful world that awaits you, the freedoms, all of those rules, all of those false teachings given to us by Rome, that was their rules. Our God didn't give us all those rules. 
Christ should say, Maria didn't give us all the rules. You read the gospel of peace. You read the gospel of the Holy Twelve. You're going to discover that your body needs the air, that your body needs water, that your body needs the earth. Means that you are supposed to stand in the sunlight, nude, because your body needs the air. There's no shame in the flesh created by our God. Okay, it's beautiful. Learn. Learn what was really intended for us. Get to know yourself. Get to know your creator. Get to know our dear Christ Jesus Maria. A wonderful world awaits you. We love you. In wisdom, peace, and love, blessings to you and your families.